this dinghy dog time, of course, we are set to go racing around the arena in a whole different style to everything that we've just seen. And uh, all of our dogs and handlers are down there in the corner, ready, raring to go. And down amongst the action is Ali Parts, aren't you, Ali? Thank you very much, Steve. Yeah, hello, everybody. Down here amongst some pretty crazy, wired dogs, I have to say. These are the small agility dogs, so they're all under the size of, they're all under 35 centimeters. And uh, we've got some pretty mental ones, all barking, all yapping, uh, watching their handlers. Let's have a, a few words with some of the grooms who are looking after these dogs whilst the handlers head off and look at the course. Uh, this is Dan, who is looking after Dave Munning's dog, Boost. Um, Dan, come and have a quick word with me. Tell me a little bit about Boost, because um, he was a rescue dog. Yeah, he's a rescue dog. He's had five homes. Um, he's really naughty, so agility keeps him busy. Is he always this mad? Always. <laughs> and is it, are you trying to get them sort of psyched up? I can see you massaging him. We tried to calm him down, but it doesn't really work. <laughs> and what's Boost's favourite obstacle here? Um, tunnels. Tunnels. Well, good luck to Boost then in the tunnels. Uh, let's have a word with the smallest dog, or the, the groom looking after the smallest dog, which is Lucy, who's looking after Caroline Raisin's Fat Bottomed Freddy. Now, that's a bit of a mean name. Well, he's named after a superstar, actually, so... Um... When he has a little bit of a cut bottom, he is a little bit crazy. He certainly is pretty crazy, and he's a Jack Russell, isn't he? Yeah, definitely a Jack Russell. <laughs> how old is he, and how long has he been training to do the dog agility? So, they start when they're young, but they don't start competing until 18 months, but uh, he's six. And is he always this mad? Always this mad. This is calm. He wants people cheering and going crazy, and then he'll be even more wild. This is calm, so if you see this, this looks calm, then we all want to say, see what Fat Bottom Freddy is like when he's going around the course. So, Steve, certainly some wired, pretty mental little dogs down here. I'm not sure that's the nicest link I've ever had back, but thank you very much, Ali. So, from Fat Bottom Freddy and all that's coming up within uh, our uh, Kennel Club uh, Olympia Small Dog Jumping Grand Prix, we're all going to have a bit of lunacy about us as we go around this course, as we'll see. 20 obstacles in all, they go uh, through the weed poles, they go through the tunnels, we already said, there's lots of fun to be out in those. And of course, that's the main thing, the dogs love this, they enjoy it, they absolutely love doing this. Now, our uh, judge down there, Lynn Shaw, all the way from Boston and Lincolnshire, judge and course designer for what's laid out here. And, uh, well, she's just taking a fun look around the course, and uh, our, of course, our handlers just having a little walk around, as you can see. Even if they've got the dogs on the lead there, they're just talking it, walking it through exactly as they would do. They go to the wee poles, they've got to get their right, they've got the left shoulder has got to go in first as they wiggle through the poles there. And then right the way down the arena, the last fence is the uh, fence going back down towards the uh, entrance. It isn't the one that says Kennel Club in a big way on it, it's got the Kennel Club logo in a small way on it. Triangular, triangular wings on there as the last. They'll go through the tyre, they get on the way to finish at 19. There's a long run down to the last, requires them to be absolutely poor perfect through uh, their rounds here. So the other thing they need is plenty of cheering. It's a big afternoon of cheering here at Olympia. And uh, as we've already seen, they're under 35 centimetres. They're close to the ground. You're going to have to cheer really loudly for them to hear it down there. And, well, as we can see, they are absolutely full of beans, ready to go. Our first down there, Zoe Cancel. And the uh, dog is Jesse, a working Cocker Spaniel, seven years of age. Jesse Blackjack is the uh, official name of this one. And uh, they're from Great Bookham in Surrey. And set to go under starter's orders as our very first to go. Get ready to cheer. The first to go, Jesse, our working Cocker Spaniel for Zoe. Off goes the harness. Are you ready? Oh, it's all very noisy down there. Right, I'm ready, Mum. Okay. Oh, hang on. Now I'm ready. One, two, listen, listen. Go. Off we go. Oh! First one goes down. It is going to be uh, five seconds to add for that over the long jump, across the centre. And uh, as we see, these are the small dogs. Those uh, fences still look very big to them as they go into the tunnel once again, quickly out of there. Right across the centre of the arena to 10. They're going to go back through uh, the tunnel there, swinging back around, and then over the wall. Up to the top of the arena. Remember, we've got to go shoulder in, left side. It's easy for these little ones. In and out, in and out they go. Now the final one for home. Back through the tunnel. It breaks it up as they go. Now we can get a rear run through the tyre. And over last. Set his 
five seconds to add, 39, 538 for the uh, very first go. And uh, the same cancel and Jesse Blackjack get us underway. Off we go now to uh, Rosie Campbell. Rosie from uh, Newport in South Wales. And uh, with the Cocker Spaniel Dare, Dare is away. Dare is known as uh, Demonic Daredevil. We'll see whether there happens for Daredevil we are in there. Out of the tunnel we go, across the arena, into the tunnel once again. They should come out to a big cheer, I hope. On we go, keep going, keep going. Back in the tunnel, they're still not hearing enough as we go over the wall, come on. A little bit more as we go into the weed balls. Left and right swing on through their nose first as they dip their way through. On through 15 and 16, now we go right the way back down. Where have you gone? Now we're back. On we go to the last goal, this is quick. This is quick, nothing to add. 33, 9, 4, 1 to uh, take the lead then of our two goals so far for Rosie Campbell and uh, of course for Dare. Now we go to Dave Munnings, we've already heard about Boost. They're based down in Newbury in Berkshire, four years of age. Boost Bikes is the official name of Rescue Dog, over two years now. And we're swiftly away. Good start into the tunnel, swings back round. Momentum takes them through it again, right the way through. Look at that big bus of brush tail on the back. In we go into the tunnel, right back round. Look at this, flat out. Got to get the stride in here. Left, right, 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 out. Now, straight down, back into the tunnel, right you go. We ping off. Now, last one, whoa! That was quick, 29. 571. 29, 571 for Dave Runnings and Boost. Turbo Boost. Right the way through there. Jan Russell now, one of my favourites. It is Freddie with uh, Caroline Racer from uh, Lincoln. Already quickly away. Fat Bottom Freddie, come on! You're not so despite that. Here we go. Fat Bottom Freddie out of the tunnel. Up we go. Come on. And on the tunnel, now over the wall, looking good so far, now how do we get on the wee poles? We're nearly not enough. <laughs> 15, 16, back into the tunnel, don't get lost in there. Come on, Fat Bottom Freddy, on your way to go to the finish, you're going to be pretty quick. What a little star, what a little star. 34, 700. And uh, we'll take them into third place so far for Fat Bottom Freddy. And uh, Caroline Racing. Jim Smith now with Flicker. A papillon. Into the tunnel for the very first time. They're from Suffolk, four years of age. Rovark Unific is the name. Cross the centre quickly. And they come out of the tunnel. Cross. Now I think the next time they come out of the tunnel, they get a big cheer, won't they? Away we go. Out over the wall. Now into the wee poles. Come on, Flicker. Left, right, oh, very neatly done, very smart. 16, a little more elegance about this one. On we go, the last, it's going to be uh, not too bad at all. Chasing on, crosses the line, 33, 5, 1, 5. 33, 5, 1, 5, we'll go into second place for Red uh, Jim Smith and Flicker. They are fast and furious so far. Joe Turner next with Medler, Cocker Spaniel, eight years of age. Twinos Golden Eye from uh, Somerset, Lagport, to be exact. Out of the tunnel quickly so far. Medler is uh, her shadow all the time, follows around everywhere. Look at those ears flapping, what a set of lungs they are. On we go, down to the tunnel. Come on, quickly through. Flying Nick and Cock Cocker Spaniel now, into the uh, weeper. <laughs> Out of there, looking good. This is pretty quick. On we go, the last 29, 571 leading time. They're going to be right up there. They could go to second. 31, 284 into second place. They go there for uh, Joe Turner and Medler. Still, it is Dave Cummins and uh, Dave Mullins and uh, Booster Bite that lead away 29, 571. Bernadette Bay now from uh, West Sussex. Already away with Zaz, the nine-year-old has got the longest name I've ever seen, but the end of it says it's got pizzazz. In we go, and swinging on around. Looking good at the moment, out of the tunnel quickly. Now, listen, but not for too long. Out of the tunnel. Come on, go on. 
They're not hearing enough cheering yet. Come on, really big one as they come out of the wee pulse. Into the tunnel, let's go. We are looking pretty good so far. We uh, could be a top three, you never know. On the way, oh, I think we might have got there. We got there in 34, 5, 41, 34, 5, 41 for the uh, wonderful Sheltie there going into uh, fifth place overall, going in down to fifth spot. Terry Wallbank and the Jack Russell Terrier, the four-year-old Billy Bob. Bailey at home from uh, Worcester. Starting jealousy later on in life, got confused early on in the course. Come on. Jack Russell out of the tunnel. Listening to the handle all the time. Needs to listen to more cheering. Go on. Come on, Bailey. Come on, Bailey. You've got five to one at the moment. Bits of makeup. Oh, through here we go. Bing, 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 bing. Out we go. Look at this little fire. You are a little star. Come on. Final few. Let's give them a more hurt. Off we go. With our right combination here. Bailey and Terry Walmart. They're going to be five to one. 44. And uh, final time, 44, 4, 5, 7, into 8th place, Terry Wallbank and Billy Bob. Two left to come, Dawn Weaver from Portland with some... Well, it is Diggy Dog time, of course. We are set to go racing around the arena in a whole different style to everything that we've just seen. And uh, all of our dogs and handlers are down there in the corner, ready, raring to go. And down amongst the action is Ali Parts, aren't you, Ali? Stevie. Hello everybody, down here amongst some pretty crazy wired dogs I have to say. These are the small agility dogs, so they're all under the size of, they're all under 35 centimetres and uh, we've got some pretty mental ones all barking, all yapping, uh, watching their handlers. Let's have a, a few words with some of the grooms who are looking after these dogs whilst the handlers head off and look at the course. Uh, this is Dan who's looking after Dave Munning's dog Boost, um, Dan, come and have a quick word with me. Tell me a little bit about Boost because um, he's a rescue dog. Yeah, he's a rescue dog. He's had five homes. Um, he's really naughty, so agility keeps him busy. Is he always this mad? Always. <laughs> and is it, are you trying to get them sort of psyched up? I can see you massaging him. We tried to calm him down, but it doesn't really work. <laughs> and what's Boost's favourite obstacle here? Um, tunnels. Tunnels. Well, good luck to Boost then in the tunnels. Uh, let's have a word with the smallest dog, or the, the groom looking after the smallest dog, which is Lucy, who's looking after Caroline Raisins. Well, it is Diggy Dog time, of course. We are set to go racing around the arena in a whole different style to everything that we've just seen. And uh, all of our dogs and handlers are down there in the corner, ready, raring to go. And down amongst the action is Ali Parts, aren't you, Ali? Stevie. Hello everybody, down here amongst some pretty crazy wired dogs, I have to say. These are the small agility dogs, so they're all under the size of, they're all under 35 centimetres. And uh, we've got some pretty mental ones, all barking, all yapping, uh, watching their handlers. Let's have a, a few words with some of the grooms who are looking after these dogs whilst the handlers head off and look at the course. Uh, this is Dan, who's looking after Dave Munning's dog, Boost. Um, Dan, come and have a quick word with me. Tell me a little bit about Boost, because um, he's a rescue dog. Yeah, he's a rescue dog. He's had five homes. Um, he's really naughty, so agility keeps him busy. Is he always this mad? Always. <laughs> and is it, are you trying to get them sort of psyched up? I can see you massaging him. We tried to calm him down, but it doesn't really work. <laughs> and what's Boost's favourite obstacle here? Um, tunnels. Tunnels. Well, good luck to Boost then in the tunnels. Uh, let's have a word with the smallest dog, or the, the groom looking after the smallest dog, which is Lucy, who's looking after Caroline Raisins, Fat Bottomed Freddy. Now, that's a bit of a mean name. Well, he's named after a superstar, actually. So, um... But he has a little bit of a cut bottom. He is a little bit crazy. He certainly is pretty crazy, and he's a Jack Russell, isn't he? Yeah, definitely Jack Russell. <laughs> how old is he, and how long has he been training to do the dog agility? So they start when they're young, but they don't start competing until 18 months, but uh, he's six. And is he always this mad? Always this mad. This is calm. He wants people cheering and going crazy, and then he'll be even more wild. <laughs> This is calm, so if you see this, this looks calm, then we all want to say, see what Fat Bottom Freddy is like when he's going around the course. So, Steve, certainly some wired, pretty mental little dogs down here. 
I'm not sure that's the nicest link I've ever had back, but thank you very much, Ali. So, from Fat Bomb, Freddie and all that's coming up within uh, our uh, Kennel Club uh, Olympia Small Dog Jumping Grand Prix, we're all going to have a bit of lunacy about us as we go around this course, as we'll see. 20 obstacles in all, they go uh, through the weed poles, they go through the tunnels we already said, there's lots of fun to be out in those. And of course that's the main thing, the dogs love this, they enjoy it, they absolutely love doing this. Now our uh, judge down there, Lynn Shaw, all the way from Boston and Lincolnshire, judge and course designer for what's laid out here. And, uh, well, she's just taking a final look around the course, and uh, our, of course, our handlers just having a little walk around, as you can see, 